Oh, hi. <laughs> yes, don't mind me. I'm just reading my signed copy of Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. Now, you guys may be wondering, hey, Chrisula, why do you have a signed copy of Joey Graceffa's book, Children of Eden? Well, guys, now I guess it's time for a little story time thing. So, back in October of 2016, last year, Joey Graceffa went on a book tour and he came to Boston which is where I'm from and where he's from and oh my god it was so exciting okay now I'm gonna tell you my experience of meeting Joey Graceffa and my day the day I met Joey Graceffa was on October 8th, 2016, on a Saturday to be specific. He was obviously on tour promoting his book, Children of Eden, which I am, which I actually read already, and it's just a fantastic book. So I went to the book signing slash meet and greet with one of my friends. I'm not going to say her name on YouTube just in case if she doesn't want her name out there, but let's just come up with the name, hmm, Colleen. So Colleen and I, we were driven by my aunt from the town in Massachusetts where I live to Brookline, which was the place where we had where the signing was at. So we got in line. The line was so long, but at the same time, we were pretty close because we got there kind of early. The signing didn't start till five o'clock, but we got there around one o'clock. So as we were sitting in line, we were talking, we were Snapchatting everything. We were just having a great time. And we made it two new friends. I'm gonna call them, hmm, Megan and Selena. So when Colleen and I met Megan and Selena, we were just having a great time. Time actually flew by because we were laughing, talking, listening to music, talking about just random stuff in general. And then came when we got inside the bookstore. It was a small bookstore, but it was a small bookstore, but at the same time, it was so big. So how it went in front of me, it was Megan, Selena, me, and Colleen. We were all so nervous, yet so excited. I actually had a little note card with me, and I wrote down my Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram name to Joey. And Daniel was actually there, and Daniel... He is such a nice guy. So when we were in line, like, Daniel, he just came up to us. He was so nice, so warming. Like, he was just the kindest guy ever. He was like, oh, so where are you guys from? Like, this and that. We were talking, Colleen, Megan, Selena, and I. We were like, is this for real? Let me tell you. He is taller in person than he is in Joey's videos. So then came the time where we were close enough to meet Joey Graceffa. So our new friends, Megan and Selena, they already met Joey. We were outside. They were outside, but they were waiting for us because we wanted to go do something fun a little after. So it was my turn. 
and I remember just walking up to Joey and I was like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Chrisula. I'm such a big fan. I got you two bread because of Escape the Night. I thought like it was such an amazing series. You should definitely do it again. Like definitely do a season two. Just please do it. Like will you do a season two? And he was like, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. Yes, a wink, like, I'm like, did Joey Graceffa just wink at me? Okay, I'm gonna insert the picture of me and Joey right now. Let me tell you, that guy gives the best hugs, and he's so tall, too, like, he just, not only he gives the best hugs, he has the greatest smile, he's so nice, like, words can't describe how nice Joey and Daniel are. So, right after we got, we took the picture, we received our books, and I was like, oh my god, like, it was so cool. I just literally can't stop going back and seeing like the signature even though it's his initials like come on it's such a memorable moment so what my friends and I did so I already had Colleen's number but Megan and Selena we got so close that we decided to exchange numbers snapchats Instagram all that fun stuff and then we were like hey you know what why don't we go to the Prudential shopping center for the people that do not live in Boston, the Prudential Shopping Center, it's basically the big tower that you see, like the big Prudential Tower, and inside it's like kind of a cool shopping mall, a little center I should say, and we went into Sephora, we went into like Nordstrom, we were just walking around and having a great time. So, right across Sephora in the Prudential Shopping Center was, you know the Godiva chocolate? Oh my gosh. So they just opened up a store in there and I pointed out to my friends like, oh my god, look, there's a Godiva store. And we walked in. Each of my friends, we either got chocolates or we either got, you know, a fraps, uh, however you guys say it. We got a frap and it was so good. I got the triple chocolate mousse frap. It was just so yummy and oh my god, it was so good. I just can't get over that, that I had to share. So right after the Prudential Center, we decided to hop back on the train and we went to the Boston Common, which is such a big park and it's so pretty. And you just walk around and you have a great time. We went to other stores there too. We walked around, we took some fun pictures. And then unfortunately it got late and it had to be the time where we had to go. So we said goodbye to our new friends Megan and Selena and but we were just talking the entire way like even though we went on totally different trains we were talking the entire way. So when we were on the train we were heading back to where we were supposed to go. But then all of a sudden the train stopped and the speakers came on and they're like, Hi, we have to stop here because apparently there is an incident that happened in the tracks. It's something that happened with the tracks in that state, that specific station we were heading to. It wasn't we were heading to that station where we had to get off. We had to get off at five stops other. So we got off, we took the bus. We had to take the MBTA, the buses that are, those public buses, and they were for free. Usually they would charge, but because of this, they were like, hey, you know what, we'll let you guys for free. So after that, we got home, Colleen and I got home, and her dad was there to pick her up, but before we got home, we, my mom came in, picked us up from the train station where we 
originally had to be. So she picked us up from there and we went to Taco Bell after. I was like, oh, I'm on a diet. I can't. I shouldn't. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but I really, really want a crunch wrap burrito. <laughs> we got, so I got a crunch wrap burrito. My mom got something else and my friend Colleen got something. And I was like, hey, I need some sauce. So the guy, he gave us some sauce, not some sauce, he put so many packs, like if, pretend this was the bag, right? The sauce, he put it up to here. He put a lot of sauce and we looked at the guy and we were like, we don't need that much. And he was like, yeah, just keep it for the future. We were like, no, we really don't need this much sauce but you know what it was funny we were like whatever so we just paid the guy went through the drive through and got back home where Colleen's dad was waiting to get her yeah so I know that's not a very long story time but I just wanted you know to tell you guys of my experience of meeting Joey and how that day went it was just so great as I said he is such a sweet guy him and Daniel you had you guys have literally no idea if you guys have the opportunity to meet him don't waste it like go and grab a selfie and this is the thing he mentioned it he mentioned something like this in one of his videos that he loves you know to talk to you guys and interact but he doesn't like to you know take selfies hug him and leave he d he says he doesn't like that he says that when you meet him he likes to have and talk like like a normal conversation you know and obviously he can take you know a snapchat or something with you but I feel like when you meet a celebrity well even though he is a celebrity some people say YouTubes are not YouTubers are not celebrities guys if you have over 1 million subscribers to me at least you are a celebrity but as I said before Guys, if you have the opportunity to meet this guy, go right ahead. He's so sweet. He has a big heart. He's so nice. Words can't describe how amazing Joey Graceffa is. Honestly, I can go on and on and on about this guy. He is so sweet and... Fun fact, he is the first YouTuber I have ever met. And you know what? He sure made me not even a bigger fan. He literally gave me, like, the confidence that I needed. Like, I don't know if this makes sense to you. Like, obviously I'm confident. Like, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, like, I'm really shy. And that's another thing I told him, like, I'm really shy, you know, how... And I told him some other things, too, that I don't want to say here on YouTube. But I told him, you know, this and this. And he was like, just be confident, be you, like, be yourself, because no one's greater and no one knows you better than you. He's like, you think... That some people think they know you, but he's like, but in reality, you know you. Guys, an actual quote from Joey Graceffa. Well, anyways, that's the end of my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below of if you have ever met Joey before if you have met or seen another youtuber before let me know and tell me your experience down below I would love to see you know your responses and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I had no idea if I said that before and turn the bell notifications on to remind you 
or C when I post a new video. Anyways, I love you guys all and I'll talk to you next Friday.